from the camera hey guys welcome back to my channel this is tea time with gangsi right here on youtube i don't know guys why i want to say right here on sabc one or right here on zanzi magic but anyway i manifest it all hopefully one day that gets to be the reality thank you so much for tuning into my channel i hope you guys are good and i hope you guys are keeping safe please don't forget to subscribe like and comment on the video i truly apologize on my first video my comments were off i did something on my comment section i said i did something messed up and i couldn't it took me time for, for me to actually fix the mistake or i made the mistake so now it's fixed so my previous video before this one the comments are now up so that's on period and you guys can go there and go comment and tell me what you guys think of the video um thank you so much it feels so good to be back so guys in today's video i'll be discussing my journey i'll be discussing how i grew up so i'll be discussing how i overcame overcame how i overcame how i overcome how how i dealt i don't know but how i overcame the the obstacles of growing up in um i don't want to say in a black community but like yeah in quite like not really a toxic environment because when i say toxic now it means that everything that i went through every person or every experience i went through was toxic no so guys growing up i had a, a skin condition named eczema so i don't know what causes eczema as such but i know that i inherited the the skin condition from my mother my mother had it so i had it as well and it was really 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 bad I, and I grew up dark skinned as well. So I was dark skinned. I had eczema growing up. And I was very, very, very smart growing up, I believe. And I was very confident and talkative. And I used to get a lot of bash and bullying about that in primary school because of my skin condition. So I'd get called um, names, like horrible names, such as like Ebola. So if you're closer and you, you know Ebola is such, it's such a very rude word to use because it's like a dog skin condition. So now it's like very bad. So I had that. So I used to get called that all the time in primary. I used to get bullied because of how I look and how dark skin I was and I won't lie, child, it was really, 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 really hurtful. At some days, I just felt that, that I didn't, I don't want to go to school because this is, what this, is what I, this, is what I, this is what I'll go there and face the whole day. And it was quite draining. Like, literally, from the day I stepped my foot in primary until the day I left, I faced nothing but bullying. So, I remember asking my mom the other day but if you wanna if you wanna be on tv what do you study and she was like oh you study media and stuff so i realized that i actually i'm actually good in public speaking i really i i am able to engage with the crowd luckily i had a project that i was busy with um that was on actually it's still on now already still um it was beep beyond expectation environmental project so at beep oh, so Beep, I, I joined Beep in 2010 and Beep opened like a lot of doors for me. Like it it paved the path for me and it showed me who I, who I am and the potential that I had. My mentor Lindela really, really, really played a, a huge impact in me knowing what I want to do with my life today. Because I thought I was going to study law because I liked talking. I was like, I'm going to be a lawyer. You know so I joined beep in 2010 and then beep in 2010 gave me an opportunity um, we used to hike it's an it's, a, it's an environment project so we used to do a lot of hikings we used to research a lot about littering about nature impact on the of nature on society the power of nature the environment you know 
and we used to like go on hikes almost every weekend actually camps it was just like a day camp we go out on saturday we come back on sunday so it was really 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 awesome i used to enjoy doing that um my mentor and i became very close because i was talkative i used to like if there's a question i'd be the first one to raise their hand up if there's a debate i'm always i'm always winning one thing about me guys i will debate and i'll make sure that i win the debate so i'd win i'd like I, I used to work hard and he saw my efforts he saw that i work i work hard i'm a hard worker i'm dedicated i'm passionate and then there was a project called play your part actually a show i think play your part is still is still is still um a thing it's still playing on tv because my battle monge was hosted was presenting the show sorry presenting the show that time so play your part came <laughs> So, Polindela came, my, my mentor announced that we will be on TV. So, we didn't really take it seriously. So, I remember my friends and I were, were standing outside the school because we were getting ready to go with Ikruga Play Your Part to Teal Mountain so that we can, uh, like, let them know what we do, our work. So, um, my mentor really, like, told me that, okay, you know what, I want you to answer, like, questions each time they answer they ask questions i want you to answer because you, you you know already about the project there's a lot that you know so because i was already doing workshops with them in, in other schools already so fine and that time i was in grade seven now this was in grade seven so we see my battle and be like guys i ain't going to look generation slow my friends are like hey man it's her. So now, now we're staring. Now we're staring. Ah, she she creates because she could see that we're staring and we're out here with starstruck. But hey, what what does she want in Cape Town in our school? So cool. Mabato, see Mabato. We greet Mabato. So fine. We get told okay, we're leaving. So we play a game when we get there, and Mabato is like, okay, we need a presenter, and like literally nobody like raises their hand. I'm like. I'll be the presenter, like, this is presenter. I was like, okay, I'll be the presenter. Okay, my mother's like, okay, okay, you're going to introduce me as a guest to the show. This is like a show. You're going to introduce me and whatsoever. So, cool. I right, shop. My bye, <laughs> guys. Listen, that time, I know nothing about TV presenting. I know nothing about... I know that there are people that act on TV and stuff like that. And I, I didn't really, really, really pay much interest into that because i was like i'm gonna be a lawyer i'm gonna study law after high school and that's that on period and that's on period so after that my battle was like okay cool um now let's start so i start presenting and stuff then my battle goes to my mentor and she's like you should find this kid an agent like she's really good so at that time I'm like, now that they're out here discussing me with the producers i'm like what's that now i was just playing a game now little did i know that okay that that is paving a way for me to actually realize that okay this is actually my calling this is actually what i want to do so okay, fine guys fine my battle has a chat with my mentor my mentor like okay now i'll look into it i'll make sure that okay she takes the opportunity so i remember in grade six grade seven my mentor used to take take me with him like i'd used to like go to workshops and go like teach at other schools what we get taught you know and you can imagine from then grade six guys grade seven you know and funny enough like my voice had an impact like people would listen to what i had to say like people believed in what i in what i in what i say so i remember the other time like the, it was like a big ceremony for beep and my mentor was like you are gonna go there and you're gonna go tell these white people about beep that time i was in grade seven if not grade six you know so i'm like hey put it i'm not ready like hi 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 no nah, i'm I was like i know i chose you for a reason no longer i know you can do it. i was like mm -mm, this guy's gonna set me up like now you're gonna make these people that bully me happy because it was yeah because it used to like guys they used to attack me for everything but oh when it was Pagamisile, you think you're better than everyone else ah when you think you know this you think you know it all like ah, guys it was hectic like oh guys the amount of bashing i, I got you know 
it was really painful like it was really painful uh, I, I didn't mind it when people like came for me because of my work because of the stuff i did in primary but i didn't like it when they would come for me be because of my looks because of how i looked no you look like this you are dark you know that's the kind of bashing that i got guys i don't know how i survived that so fine i went there i did the presentation for beep and y'all like the people were very impressed still i couldn't see this I couldn't see the signs that okay this is what i'm good at i remember the other time there was like um what what did we call it in primary a traditional ceremony like uh, heritage day at school yeah so we'd come wearing too like you'd come wearing your closet attire and stuff so like i'd so i was given you know i was in grade six i remember so i was given an opportunity that i must mc there i emceed and people were like <gasps> Oh my god, I just so I guess I didn't understand. I didn't think no, I was like, I'm just doing what I was asked, you know. They're like, No longer when you are good for this, I'm what it's a farm that you can do this. So I'm like, I didn't see anything. I was like, oh, wait, I'm just doing it, J, you know. And I remember in grade one, I know guys I've one thing about me, I've got I've got a very good memory. Like I remember the other time my mom was like, Hey bo there was a reading like thingy going on at school so i don't know what, i don't know how the story panned out but like i heard my mom says let me show you how this is done and i read so like people were impressed like and teachers were impressed so they got e the local newspaper so next thing i've been called the office in with a lot of like a lot of books in class i'm taking pictures next thing i'm my mom is at work they're like hey man isn't this your child a front cover of paper but this child is brilliant um she's so smart she reads fluently because one thing about me guys as much as i suck with talking now nah, i feel like i suck but no okay let me not put that upon me but i'm very i'm a very good reader like i'm I'm a good reader guys i'm a good class reader as well funny enough i i think i am because the, the last time i checked i could but like obviously i don't read much cosa anymore but like i'm a very good cosa reader so i didn't realize all of this i was like so i was like you know what mom next year just take me to art to an art school because of or high school musical honestly i was like i want to go experience that life so i went to go study at the lady Grey arts academy i got there i did drama as my major i studied and ugh, child i met amazing people in that school i got taught a lot about how the industry works and the time i got there my teacher membele shout out to membele so i was like you know i see acting like I was interested in that, but I was like, there's something more than acting that I know that I'm good at. I believe, okay, fine, I can act, but corner in man guys that I'm good at. So I remember the first opportunity I got to MC. I MC'd. Man, Bella gave me the opportunity to MC a show. Yo, guys, the feedback I got was really humbling. And funny enough, like even my principal, because my principal, our principal, if you went to Lady Grass Academy and you knew Mr. Becker, you knew that that guy was just a serious guy. Like, it was so hard to get compliments from that guy, but like, he'd come give me props that, oh, you're so good at what you do. I was like, really, guys, do I really, really, really kill this? Because I used to MC shows. Then after that, like, I'd get like opportunity to MC shows all the time. Even it, even in class, it was never a debate. But who's gonna be the MC? They'll be like, ah, no longer. It's gonna be the MC. So I decided, okay, this is what I wanna do. You know, I, I could, you know, and I also started like growing boobs. Ah, oh, guys, another stereotype that I went. I, I, oh, it's still so another challenge that i faced along the way after got bullied eczema so because i was told by my doctor in primary that as you grow up by the time you reach 18 you know, I'm saying, i couldn't believe it because i was wearing um fucking bandages like a bandage guys i'm a bandage like because i used to scratch myself a lot so like they put a bandage on my hands on my feet on my on my on my feet on my thing on my arms because i used to scratch myself a lot and that was not good 
so in high school it started fading away it started fading away and it faded eventually but i'm just only left now with marks showing that i had eczema that's the only thing i'm left with now you can see that okay i had eczema but now like it's gone so i said i wanted big boobs growing up i like i wanted i couldn't understand because i grew up very skinny as well so that used to be a challenge as well but like you know so i was like i'm gaining boobs i'm like yay finally but hey eh, boobs started growing like every day every minute i was like hey 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 i was like hey what is going on so i was like you know what okay fine now it became a barrier now people would come for me oh why don't you want to cut them i got so annoyed by that question to a point that i was literally thinking of cutting my boobs i was like i want to and the time i went to the doctor my daughter was like okay i see what you want to do and i see these boobs are big but you since you don't have like a big body you will need to lose 10 kgs i was like what ah uh -uh. lose what ah 10 kgs ah ah brother me i like foods ah i eat i don't play i eat so you come here and you tell me i must lose 10 kgs ah dude my mom bought me all those stuff like did you want to have a life that did not <laughs> you weight loss drops that like i have a life i had them dog uh like i said okay i'm on a diet that diet only lasted for about a few days i was like you know what for tech i'm not doing this i'm not gonna cut these boobs i don't care what people say because i realized that each and everything that you're given or each and everything that you go through and you overcome it's given to you for a reason you know now i've got ladies in my dm asking how do i do it i want to cut now i'm able to advise the next person now i'm able to be confident enough and for the next person with big boobs who's not so vocal about it to be confident they're gonna look at me and see and see but oh actually this is actually nice i must not cut my boobs so i grew boobs oh guys oh finding bras i was like oh my god i want them gone but now uh -uh. I love my boobs with everything in me so yeah that's how i overcame so i realized that okay you know what i love presenting and grade 11 i started falling in love with djing because i really i also liked music guys i used to think i could sing growing up like literally i'd put in the album galera and i'd sing my lungs out not my grandmother's friends hyping me up but they're my lungs he's a he's a lungs 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 lungs now the bafuna up and fun maliam they must come pay me because one bank because i could have taken that thing and ran away with that's what, even one of the reasons why i went to art school because i thought i could sing i was like i'm gonna get them to do a drama name music because i could sing can't no 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 i was all again was you know was the pants is down was all again sit down so i was like okay cool okay love music let me find something then i started like falling in love with the decks i was like okay this is this is my vibe you know i like i like music so i got taught a bit in high school by some guy called neverson he teach me a lot about the industry we used to have really good conversations with that guy what a cool gent and then i realized okay now i want to invest in that of which that's also in the pipeline Oh, maybe one of these days you might see me on the decks. So yeah, guys, I realized, okay, you know what? This is what I love doing. I love being on camera. I like, I love talking shit. I like doing this. I like interacting. I like having decent conversations. So that's just a nutshell about me, about how I grew up, how I got to this point. Um, yeah, guys, I've, like, I'm a superstar. I'm gonna do in quotes. I'm not gonna pee. But anyway, guys, yeah. On my next video, uh, my friend suggested that I speak about um, my take on friendships, relationships. Ah, such um, eh, guys, it's such a, it's such a mm, topic because uh, I'm not really, I'm not really equipped about relationship advice, but friendship, yes. 
however that's what i'm going to be discussing on my next um video so guys let me, let me know in the comment section as to what do you want us what do you want me to touch on on my next video about friendships relationships um love you know tell me guys what you think tell me what you guys want me to discuss any questions just pop them through and yeah and that's the end of my video guys thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for your love thank you for your support thank you to all those that shared um this video oh my god guys ah anyway thank you very much guys from the bottom of my heart i feel so happy with, even with shooting this guys my heart is at peace like i am literally complete i'm literally happy thank you so much to everyone that has that has subscribed thank you to everyone that has um share the, the the link on their statuses on their social with their friends thank you very much i really appreciate it guys i promise you guys and the famous guys so thank you very much please don't forget to like this video give it a thumbs up let me know in the comment section what you think comment and tell me what you think of the video um if you have an issue with the video tell me and we can see what we can do about it but till then thank you so much for watching tea time with Longsi. this is myself anyway thank you so much for tuning into tea time with Longsi. this is your girl Longsi, and i'm signing out bye bye god bless